Okay, we're going to start looking at compensating op amps uh, in order to make them stable across all operating voltages and ranges. And before we do that, we're going to look at uh, feedback and op amp circuits, uh, which is what necessitates compensation. So uh, we're going to look first at pros and cons of feedback. So first, the pros. The first pro is that feedback sets our DC bias point. And this obviates the need for large capacitors for coupling. The second thing we've already seen is that feedback increases usable bandwidth. and it does so by a multiplication by the feedback factor. Feedback increases the linear output range. We give our op amp a well-defined but smaller gain. And finally, our gain is determined solely by feedback. And this is good because we use ratios that are less susceptible to PVT variations. So we get a very precise gain, but not a very large gain. The cons, of course, are that feedback loops can become unstable. And this occurs if the feedback is not negative at all frequencies. And of course, we must compensate to ensure stability. And this is a drawback because our compensation can require a lot of circuit area and be complex. OK, so let's remind ourselves of a few terms by looking at this non-inverting op amp. So, We've already shown that we can model a non-inverting op amp as a feedback circuit that has some positive gain and some feedback. Here, we're showing the positive gain as A sub S, which is the open loop gain of an op amp. And it has some frequency dependence. And we're feeding back through a network that has no frequency dependence. Okay, if we calculate the gain of this amp, we have it as the open loop gain divided by 1 plus the open loop gain times the feedback factor. And remember, we had called that term the loop gain. We can solve for beta using the resistor divider here, and it's equal simply to R1 divided by R1 plus R2. And of course, then we could substitute this in. We know A of S, if little a sub S is large, is approximately equal to 1 plus R2 over R1 for this circuit. 
Okay, in the next set of slides, we're going to start examining some criteria for stability.